Yo, what's up guys? Sheon 14 here with another video. Wait, I have to say that name now. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever made a video uh, in my new name. I used to go by the name Kajos13, but since I had two um, two like usernames, I had Kajos13 and I had Sheon 14 on my Twitter and my, and my um, Discord. I decided just to merge the two names together. So today I would talk about my new ice setup. Now, last time I made it was a one one video. It was about my life crit setup. All that stuff, old news. This is a new meta we're in, with all the spells getting nerfed in the spell audit. Class is getting nerfed, and just recently ice got nerfed again. Not like nerfed that hard, but like you know all the spells that they used to use, like ice elf, ice bird. Octazilla, stuff like that, all gone now. Enfeeble, Shift, gone. Treasure cards and stuff like that. But I'm not here to explain about PvP. I'm just here to explain my stats for Ice and what I'm going to go through in PvE and May PvP. So I'm going to explain that this step bonus, I have multiple step stuff going on in this setup. Um, as you can see, I don't have an Ice Pit on, and there's a reason why I don't really have an Ice Pit on here. I'll explain that in just a moment. So let me show you my my gear first. Because I think this would be better off to show you what my gear is going to be so you guys know what I'm doing here. So for my PvP setup, um, I'll talk about my PvE setup just a bit. So for my PvP setup, I have the Krakotopia, Krakopatra, I can't speak, I'm sorry. Uh, Blizzard Fez. I'm still using this level 100 hat. It's still a very good hat. And there's nothing wrong with using it. For my robe, I am using the Dragoon's Icy Armor. The 140 armor set from Caramel is not is not worth it. Sure, it does give more defense, but the problem is is that they nerfed a lot of the stuff on the set for Ice. It gave more health to life. So basically, Ice is going to be the new block and resist school, and life is going to be the new health school, I'm assuming. That's what's going to happen with the Ice in the future. The boots... We have the Dragoon Icy Boots. These are the best boots in the game for ice right now, hands down. Do not use another pair of boots. The, bon the reason why I'm still using Dragoon set is because of the bonus. As you can see, I have three pieces of gear on, so I get a little bonus here. So there's no reason to switch these out, because the bonus is just better. For the wand, I am using the Road Legend Skull. Now, I don't have jewels, and I don't have perfect jewels on all my stuff yet. But I'm using this... Um, wand with my pet to get a set bonus of 3 resist. So this wand is pretty good for ice. Reasons 1. So let's let's compare this to let's say the um, the old good uh, ice wand that people used to use. The Sky Captain's Boarding Hook. First off, I you keep the pierce, you gain crit, you gain 117 block, you lose the pip converve, which is whatever, and you lose 7 damage, which is fine. It's not a big deal. So, I would still recommend the Rollage of Skull, because block is really important right now in this meta, due to the fact that crit and block got changed. The more block you have, the less damage people can do on crits on you. So, being an Ice Wizard with a lot of health and a lot of resist is going to really help. So, this is why I'm using this wand instead of using Skycap as Boarding Hook. Now, for the Athame... I have the Dragoon Icy Dagger. Now, the other dagger that they have uh, for 140 has more uh, damage and more block. But I'm still going to use this because this has the um, set bonus. So there's no reason why I shouldn't. Even if I did take this if I did take this off, I would actually lose a damage. So I don't think there's a point really to wear the other amulet. I mean the other theme, sorry. For the amulet, I am not using the Dragoon's amulet because that will be four pieces and you don't get a set bonus at four. I'm actually using the Uber Wonders Rope, which is the new 140 um, amulet that comes from Caramel. If there's any pieces of gear that you should be farming for in Caramel, the amulets are definitely the ones you should get right now. All these amulets are really good. They even give you a protected spell as well, a protected blade inside the amulet. But for ice, this uh, this you know this one's pretty good because it gives the eight resist, which is a lot of resist compared to the uh, old six. So, I'm um, running this uh, amulet here. 
for the rings, obviously for PvP, I'm running Duelist Daredevil. This ring still is one of the best rings because it gives that six pierce. Now, for the pet, I'm running the second part of the Cold Rider set, which is where this pet comes from. And essentially, it's a triple double with a um, with a stab booster on it, with Mighty on it. So, and then I also have a uh, Defy, um, Defy and Maycast Brace Jewel in there. So this uh, this pet's pretty stacked. Now, um, another good thing you should have if you don't want. So this pet technically is one of the best pets. Um, a better pet probably would be seven damage, eleven damage, eleven resist, six resist, Maycast Brace, and Maycast Snow Sleet. Um, I mean, Sleet Storm, sorry. Um, that's very good for ice for accuracy problems. As you can see, the build does not give you 100% accuracy, so you will fizzle sometimes. But with snow, with uh, Sleet Storm, you won't be able to fizzle, so that's always good. But the reason why I don't have um, that on here is because I already have Maycast Brace on this. I don't want to Maycast spells, and I also don't want me to go up against the balance and get in endlessly like, harassed by uh, Bubble Pokes. The mount... Um, I'm using uh, the rock mount for this setup, the 3% power pip chance. One of the better mounts in the game. You should probably just use this mount. If you don't have a mount that gives uh, power pip, you probably should just run a mount that gives damage instead. For the deck, I'm going with the director Cairo box. Um, obviously, this has not been maxed. If I wanted better accuracy, I would have 14% accuracy here, but I still have to 12 on for now. Um, the reason why I'm running this over the Icy Paradox set is because you only lose a little bit of crit, doesn't matter because crit kind of got nerfed to the ground. Um, and you only lose two block, but you gain that health. So I'm just, you know, going for health at this point. Just see if I can reach that 11k. So let me show you the stats. So right now with main max, um, I don't have max jewels on all my stuff yet, but right now I have 10,876 health, which is a lot of health, almost 11k here with this setup. I have 107 damage, which is still a lot of damage, by the way, for ice. The fact is that you can reach above 100% still with the setup is pretty nuts. I have 76 resist. Now this is a lot of resist. I have I have not played this game. I played this game for about 10 years and I've never seen myself this high with resist with actual ice gear instead of having J gear instead. The fact is that you can reach this resist numbers with this health numbers is ridiculous. I don't think with 100 damage, I don't think this should be in the game. We have 20 accuracy. Now this is where I'm going to talk about how broken this setup is. Why ice is even more tankier than usual. Now obviously my crit's going to be a little low. 405. Okay, that's fine. You know, you're not going to have a bunch of crit. Right? Now the thing I wanted to talk about is the block rating. Now a lot of people will run like 400 block. Ice block PvP. 400 block. Only 400. Right now I'm running 615 block. 615 block. Which is a lot of block to have. With this setup with 76 resist and 100 damage plus this much block. And 32 piercing still. Why is this in the game, King Zhao? Why is ice getting up this high? You know what I mean? So that having this much block, it's kind of funny to have. Kind of funny to see. <laughs> and of course, my pip conversion is going to be very low. Due to the fact that, you know, I don't have any pip conversion. And then I have 95% power. So yeah, this is my PvP setup currently. Um, yeah. So this plus that. Now my PvE setup. So you can run. If you don't want to run, you can run the other hat. Um, the J the Jagroon hat, Icy Helm. Now if you want to run this, these are the stats you're looking at. So you can see yourself have 100, almost 120 damage basically. With 61 resist to all schools, which is still, compared to other schools in the game, 61 is a lot of resist still. Now, obviously there's some schools like Balance that's going to have more resist than this, like 67 and stuff. But, like, the fact is that 61 with 11k health is a lot still. But I would still run the resist hat still to this day. Even with 11,120 health, um, you lose that much resist. But, yeah. So... 33 armor piercing um still the same amount of block by the way and then you get a little bit more crit and then you get perfect power essentially so and your accuracy is good so if you ever wanted to run this setup in pve that'd be my guest run it in pve because like you could run um the dragoon icy ring here um for pve so you can have that crit and that block is still at 587 
You know, you can still run this for PvE right here. You know, this is what I probably recommend for PvE because you have that 11k, you have that 118, you have that 537 crit right here. You got that. All that jazz. So yeah. Um But yeah, I just wanted to yeah, just show you guys my gear sets and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's all I'm gonna talk about today for ice. Um This is the only class I really min-max right now. I'm gonna go to my I think I'm gonna go to my fire next. I think my fire is my next major project I'm gonna do, or my death, I don't know. But I know ice was one of the main schools that I started with in the game and I wanted to min-max. But I wanna show you that you guys can do this. Um, it's possible. All you need is this wand right here, um, with the pet, and you get the 3%. You get the 3% resist from this set bonus right here. So from having the pet and the wands, you get those set bonus. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, quick video. Um, I'm probably not going to do PvP, um, much because I just don't really feel like it, but I just wanted to show you what the power of ice can do right now with the stats. It's pretty broken. Um, when resistance, when flat resist comes out as a base thing, like when resist rating comes out, this will definitely be not as powerful as it will be. Um, so what do you, if you, if you ever, if you ever do this setup, enjoy it while you can. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Peace.